All right, guys, so you want to record in game chat with you and your friends. You want to be able to hear them when you're recording and you want to be able to hear your own voice when you're recording. This is how you do it. I finally figured it out. Uh, I made a video back in January, it's now April. I made a video back in January on how to do it where you could hear the game chat. But unfortunately at that time, I didn't know how to uh, incorporate my own voice in, in the game. So I couldn't chat with PC players or PS4 players when playing Modern Warfare. So as being a cross-platform game, I wanted to be able to chat with my friends that are on those platforms. So I finally figured it out. Um, what you're gonna need, assuming that you know all about the Elgato um, uh, capture card and you know stream setups and, and that sort of thing, uh, you're gonna need obviously the the stream the capture card. I have a wireless headset. This is the Turtle Beach 700, uh, Stealth 700, and the Elgato chat link cable, which is one of the most important things, and that. The thing that I changed from my last video is this aux cable. So if you guys came across that video first before this one, this is the only difference. Now the aux cable that I used in that video had two black rings. So you can see that this one has three black rings on it. I'll just bring it up. It focuses. So you can see that it has three black rings. The other one that I had only had two black rings. So what, what those rings uh, mean is if it has two black two black rings, it's left side and right side for audio. And then if it has three, it's left side, right side, and mic. So I didn't know that, I'm not an expert or anything. So I did not know that until a few days ago. I ordered this cable on Amazon, and I ordered this on Amazon as well. I'll link both of those down below. Um, full disclosure, they are uh, Amazon affiliate or associate link, so I'll make, make 25 cents if you guys click on that and purchase it. If you just click on it, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go through full setup. I'm gonna show you audio on the Xbox, audio on the Elgato, audio on the OBS as well, if you guys use the OBS software for streaming or just recording your videos. So I'm gonna go through all that right away here. So I'm gonna put this all together and then show you that. So before I get started, I do obviously play on Xbox, so if you guys want to play with me on Xbox, uh, you can add me on there, no problem, under Jimmy Knives, the same as my YouTube channel here. And if you want to hang out on Twitch, I stream uh, probably four or five days a week if you want to hang out on Twitch under Jimmy Knives. So let's get started. All right, guys, so this is how you put everything together here. Uh, first, you have the Elgato chat link cable. This is the small end, the short end here. Plug that into your, oh, you're gonna need your controller too. I forgot about that. Uh, you need, yeah, that might help. Uh, the Xbox controller. So you plug this short end into the bottom of the Xbox controller. Then plug the long end of the chat link cable into your capture card. Like that. Then you take the aux cable with the three black rings on it. Plug that into your headset. And plug the other end into the chat link cable. Now this is, this is such a primitive way to do it, I find. Um, PC players, I think PS4 players have it so easy, but for some reason Xbox just isn't there yet. As far as I know, as far as I know, at the time of this video so this is the only way to do it and it kind of sucks um, but it works it 100% works I tested it obviously before this video all right so this nest of wires is is it uh, that's how you plug everything in now let's go to the actual settings on the Elgato all right so when you have the Elgato capture card program open what you're gonna want to do is go up here to this wheel Click on it and the capture card settings will open. You're going to want to go to audio input here. Now you're going to want to change it to analog audio. And all these settings can remain the same or you can change them to what I have here. Whatever works best for you. I'll just go through these settings too because some videos I came across people did not go through those and they might have been different. 
uh, those are the picture it's not going to affect it now for the analog audio gain depending on what program you use to stream whether it's obs or the actual capture card in, um, program here uh, i crank mine all the way up to 12 and then i adjust i use obs so I, and then i adjust uh, according to the program and how much sounds coming through then and then profiles is just yeah all right so that's it biggest thing change that to analog audio now these are all the other settings here i don't use the sound capture i'll just open it to show you i have that off i find a lot of how-to videos they don't show you everything and one thing can throw the whole thing off oops yeah all right so next we're going to go to if you use the obs i'm going to show you the obs software settings that i use as well but let's head over to the obs software all right, so now that you're in the OBS software here, if you're using that to record, um, go down to the bottom here. You'll see, um, it'll say Elgato or something like that for you. I just changed the name to Xbox. The Xbox thing here is my Elgato capture card. So I have the volume cranked to the max here, just so, because when you change it to analog, um, it's a lot harder to hear. That's why I cranked the decibels up in the Elgato software, and I cranked it up here as well. So you should be able to hear it fine. If you can't and it's still not coming through properly for you, uh, click on the gear here, advanced audio properties, and change the decibels here again. So you can you can uh, play around with, with the numbers there to see what works best for you. And then I'll just show you my settings, um, my audio settings here. So 48 kilohertz, stereo sound, and my microphone's the Yeti, it's plugged in, Oops, yeah, I don't know what I just did there. I'll just hit cancel. Um, and then th there's nothing else here. So that, those are my settings uh, for the audio in the OBS. And that should do it. Now we'll go over to the Xbox. I'm gonna go into World War II into the headquarters to see if I can get anyone to talk to show you guys live that this actually works. All right guys, now we're in Call of Duty World War II. I'm gonna show you what uh, the actual sound looks like see how it works show you that it actually works uh, another thing that i should mention as well that i just tested if you have volume things on your headset those no longer work when they're in analog mode unfortunately that's the only shitty thing about it um but i mean that's the least of my problems now that i've figured this out uh so let's get into uh let's get into the headquarters uh, where do I do that here? Up here, headquarters. Okay, get into it. Now, before we'll let that load, I'll show you my Xbox settings as well for, for audio. Up here, so when you have everything plugged in, a little audio thing will pop up there. But these are my audio settings for now. I might have to play around with them. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm gonna do a, a huge test on it just to make sure everything's working fine for when I go live on Twitch and hopefully my viewers will be able to hear everything that's going on um so that's that uh, those audio settings now the other audio settings that you're going to want to do is go to settings and you're going to want to go over at general you're going to want to go over to volume and audio output chat mixer do nothing party chat output you're going to want to set it to headset and speakers so that will bring all the audio out uh, and then everything else I mean this is just what I think these are just the normal settings so everything there just click on this just to show you that, that's that's everything there <laughs> all right so let's get into the headquarters and see if we can get someone to talk hello all right, so you can see my microphone on the left there. It's actually so that it's actually working. Hello, is anyone in the headquarters here? Can someone talk? Hello, Jumpin' Jack guy. Anyone? All right, let's try to get a new headquarters. No one's talking. Let's try that again. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello. There hello? we go. Where are you? There you are. 
Can you hear me, sir? Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm having mic problems. Perfect. Get my dad to buy me a new one. Get your daddy. Do you want to be in my video? Is that okay? You already asked me. I know, but you're you're actually being recorded now. <laughs> well, that's what I figured. Frog Kid Frank five nine nine. Thanks, dude. Like it? Like it. You, do you get the reference? Yeah. It's an all right, guys. So that is audio game chat. Me talking to random players in Call of Duty World War II in the headquarters. This guy was absolutely hilarious. I even asked him if it was okay to record him, and he said yes. So that's it for the video. If this helped you out at all, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you are having any issues with this at all, uh, I've been trying to figure this out for months, so I imagine other people are having issues with it too. <laughs> um, leave a comment down below, or we can link up on Xbox and test the audio rather than you running around to random games and trying to get um, people to talk to you like me, unless you have friends that can help you out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so add me on Xbox and come hang out on Twitch as well. So. Hopefully, I will see you in the games and on Twitch. Have a great day, guys. Have a have a great day, guys. Yeah, I got him. I got, got the other guy. Do you, do you want the reload? Yeah. Oh, I just downed him. I just meleeed the shit out of him. Oh my god, I just got four guys.